Hello! Finally, I got round to watching Battlestar Galactica Blood and Chrome. But before I get into that, let me tell you about what I think of Battlestar Galactica overall. I have fond memories of watching the uh, 1970s series of Battlestar Galactica, but mostly the, 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 you know, the Battlestar Galactica I, I really like is the 2004 series. Now, the 2004 series, it gets you hooked immediately. I was looking forward to every single episode that came out. I stayed with it throughout all the seasons, but I wasn't crazy about how it ended. Now, I'm not going to spoil how it ended for those people who haven't watched it, but let's just say that it was a bit of a disappointment. But the series overall was really good. It was a really good show. Now, on to Caprica. Uh, Caprica, if I, I believe, only got one season, and that's not really surprising. I only stayed with Caprica about half the season because, I have to say, it, it, it just did not grab me. It didn't grab me at all. In fact, I wasn't even crazy for the first episode of Caprica, and the following episodes didn't really get any better. I, I don't know what they were... They, I don't exactly know what they were trying to do with Caprica, but it just seemed to get... It just seemed to be edging away from, you know, the, the identity of Battlestar Galactica that we all know and love. It just seemed to be getting away from what Battlestar Galactica is. And they were doing, I mean, I, I, I generally like it when uh, TV shows try to do something a bit different, but Caprica was going way too far, <laughs> just way too far from what Battlestar Galactica is. And, I, I don't know, it, it just seems, it, it felt almost like a Matrix TV series. Now, if you've seen Caprica, you know what I'm talking about. And, I, I don't know, I just didn't, it didn't feel like a Battlestar Galactica show. It just didn't. At least not for me, anyway. Now on to Blood and Chrome. I liked Blood and Chrome. A lot. It reminded, in fact, it reminded me just how much I liked Battlestar Galactica. Because I only recently got around to watching Blood and Chrome. I know it's been out for well over a year. And it reminded me of a few things about uh, Battlestar Galactica. For example, it reminded me of the term toasters. I completely forgot that the uh, colonial military in this universe uh, refers to Cylon as toasters. It was a nice little, you know, reminder. And, but, uh, but there are a few things I have to say I was a little bit disappointed about Blown Chrome. For one, uh, the Cylons. Now, I was kind of expecting the bulky Centurions. Uh, we didn't really get those. Now again, it's a minor thing. But the other thing that kind of gets me a little bit is that not once did we hear one Cylon say, by your command. Why? Why did we not get that line? I feel, and it's been a long time since I've seen this, but I'm pretty sure in Battlestar Galactica Razor, you get one Cylon that says, by your command. Why didn't we get it in, in Blood and Chrome? I mean, Blood and Chrome is set during the first Cylon War. It was the perfect opportunity to say, by your command. But, no, we didn't get it. But, again, it, 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 it's really just a minor thing. But, apart from that, they got the look of the Cylons pretty well done. I mean, yeah, we didn't get the bulky Centurions, but we got what, you know, we got early Cylons. Because, remember, this is set something like, oh, I can't remember, roughly like 40, 50 years before the 2004 series. I'm, I might be getting that wrong, but... So, yeah, but it's roughly around about that, that, that amount of time. And, yeah, we, we got, like, these early-looking Cylons. And I'm glad that they got the Raiders right. They got these sort of... Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not describing them very well. They're almost like saucer-shaped Raiders, or they're not quite... They're like curved saucers, if that makes any sense. But, anyway, look. What, 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 uh, that's like, like, a Razor, or the 1970s version. And, yeah, basically, the Raiders from those two... Things, you know, that's what they look like in Blood and Chrome. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I like the fact they got the Raiders right. The Cylons, they got about half right. Uh, but I did appreciate, uh, for the, I did appreciate the Cylons that we got, even though we should have had that line by your command. That we, we should have had it. But, yeah, I liked the little cameo appearance of Teresa Helfer. Uh... 
if you don't know who she is, she, she plays number six in the 2004 series. I'm not going to say exactly what that cameo is, but it was a nice little, um, let's just say that it, it was something else that gave me like a fond uh, reminder of the 2004 series. Especially when she comes on, uh, they played, I don't remember, but every time uh, Teresa Helfer came on in the 2004 series, they played that little music that came on. It was almost like, it was like, like a slight jingle. Uh, every time she came, it, it, especially when Gaius Baltar was uh, hallucinating, when, when he was seeing number six, like his version of number six uh, in his head, and they played a little song that came on every time she came on. I, it, any hardcore fans about Star Galactica will know what I'm talking about. And, and it, it was, it, it, I, I think that's what most of the Chrome was to me. It was like, it, remind, it gave me all these fun reminders why I liked about Star Galactica. So, would I recommend it? Oh, definitely, yes. I mean, if you love Battle Star Galactica, you'll definitely love this. And I just think it was a shame that I waited so long to see it, though, because I oof, I always meant to see it sooner, but I only just got around to seeing it now. But, yep, yeah, definitely watch it. It's certainly worth your time. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.